What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World. Uh, today I'm in my studio with Bray and we are shooting a fashion inspired portrait with some patterns in the background. It's gonna be really awesome, so check it out. For this shot, I've got a two light setup. We're actually shooting with a hard light source. So for this one, I've got just this B10 with the snoot on there. And then if one snoot wasn't enough, I've got another strobe with an optical snoot on there. And that's what's creating the pattern in the background. So I've got just the kind of slanted uh, lines pattern in the gobo or the optical snoot. And I've got that shooting into the L pattern of the, um, of the V flat. So that's going to kind of create some very symmetrical lines going down the middle of the background. Um, obviously with that optical snoot, we can choose the focus. I kind of wanted a hard shadow on there, a hard light. So between these two, we've got a hard light source on her. When we're actually gonna be shooting, she's going to be sitting on the ground and I'm gonna have this angled a little bit down. So as I mentioned before, we've got a two light setup. For the first light, I've just got a B10 with a snoot on there. And the reason for the snoot is just to really narrow that beam of light so it's only hitting her and it's not gonna hit the background at all. One thing to keep in mind with this is to get the exposure proper on the background, I've got the power of my strobe all the way up. Even with the strobe power all the way up, since I'm shooting it into a black V-flat, it's gonna absorb a ton of light. I had to bump my ISO all the way up to 2500 to get the exposure proper. So with that, I had to turn my key light down quite a bit so I didn't overexpose her completely. But with that, if you ever run into a situation where you're like, I'm all the way up at the highest power, don't be afraid to bump your ISO up. It's totally fine. So we've got this, we've got the setup how we want it. We've got the angle of the lights where we want. I've got this key light here with just the regular snoot, this angle down lighting her. So I'm gonna show you what each light does individually and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you the final image. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow VFlat World. If you want to check out any more of my work, check me out on Instagram at ReadyLightMedia or online at NextLevelWorkshops.com. Big thanks to Bray for helping us out, and I'll see you next time. I spoke too soon. <laughs> what is that called? It is called a optical snoot is what that's called. Ah, dang it. All right, let's start over. It'd be easier to just do it straight from the... All right, and...